شب تمام شما بخیر باشه آرزو دارم که روزای دهه اخیر رمضانم بخیر بگذرونید و در این روزایی که ما همگی مدخانه هستیم در آفیت و سردمندی و سرگابره حسنات اقبالی هستم رهبر دی سی یا دی سی لی در دانشگاه وقت Hey everyone, hope to be fine and safe this, uh, in this the talk time this is Hasanat the DC Lead of Wealth University in Afghanistan. And شما در برنامه کلان اختصاص دادیم برای گوگلرز کسایی که در گوگل کار میکنن مثل اریکا هانسن کسی که گلوبل پروگرام منیجر است در گوگل و همه قسم اسا جاوید موحد کسی که جی دی جی کابرا ارگانیزرش هستن و خوشحال هستیم که امروز هر دو تا اینا برای ما وقت دادن تا ای که افتخار داشتن یک برنامه خوب هم را اینا داشته باشم Hey Erika It's your time If you're ready uh, you can... you're, you're live now with uh, students We are live in five destination to Facebook page and also um, three YouTube channels Great Hi, hi everyone Thanks so much for joining My name is Erika Hansen I work at Google based in New York I've uh, been on the um, the developer relations team at Google for about six years and at Google for 13 and a half years now. And I lead the developer student clubs program globally. And I uh, basically, as, as you probably know, this is a community program for students uh, all over the world, basically where um, students can um, set up uh, clubs on their university campuses where they run workshops to train students on how to become more industry ready on the latest in Google technology. And, um, and also students work on projects to solve local problems in the community. Um, so that's what the program is all about. Um, so it's so great to, to be here with all of you right now. Um, and so actually I want to present some slides to you um, so that you're able to um, learn a little bit more about the program. So I'm just gonna quickly pull this up. And I'll share a few stories. Um, so let me pull these slides up right now real quick. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm based here in New York. Um, where I've been for a couple years. I have had a bit of a journey going through um, uh, different countries. I, I lived and worked in um, uh, in London for a few years and also in Singapore. So I'm going to share some slides with you right now. And here we go. Okay, oops, there we go. I think you can see my screen. Um, so I'm just going to present some slides talking about the um, Developer Student Club program. And, um, and I'm happy to take any questions as well. Um, so but first, I, I did want to talk a little bit more about my um, career journey. So I wanted to talk through some of these pictures on the slide. Um, so first of all, my name is uh, Erica, as I mentioned, I um, Right out of college, I went to Stanford where I studied psychology and communication. And I uh, joined uh, Google right after that. Um, and so I was a, a non-tech major, but eventually ended up um, going to Google and, um, and majoring uh, and, and joining the um, engineering department eventually, um, but went, went that route through program management. Um, and as I mentioned, I, I worked in the London office. That's this picture up on the right uh, where I was in uh, sales operations. And uh, then eventually um, in Singapore, I was on the um, developer relations team. And that's where I was helping. Uh, I was focused on helping developers in Indonesia. And our goal as part of the developer relations team is, is really helping um, developers be more successful. As we did a lot of trainings and uh, then that's really where I got interested in uh, community. Um, so that's where I first went to one of my first community events. This is a Google Business Group event. And what I really love about community, whether it's um, online or in person, is that um, it's really a place for people to uh, come together and uh, learn, share ideas with each other, um, also make some new connections, potentially work on projects together. 
Um, but it also provides a, a space for people to um, take on new challenges, to not only be a participant in a community, but also be a speaker, um, facilitate a session, share, mentor other people as well. So that, that's what I love about community. And so I was inspired and, and basically I decided to uh, co-found a community with some friends. Uh, it was called Geek Girl Meetup Singapore. Um, so that's, uh, that's this right now. Um, and that's this uh, image right here, Geek Girl Meetup Singapore. It's basically a community for women in tech uh, focused on um, supporting women as they get started with their um, their startups in the early stages. Um, and then after that, I moved to uh, New York, which is where I am now and leading the Developer Student Clubs program globally. Um, so that's a little bit about me and my journey. Um, so let's go to the next slide. So what is Developer Student Clubs all about? I know um, some of you are familiar, some of you might be new and interested in, in learning about the program. So just to make sure we're all on the same page, I wanted to give you an overview. So Developer Student Clubs help student developers learn globally and work with their communities to solve real life problems. Our goal is to create impact, impact students and empower them to impact their communities through technology. And so let's get a little bit deeper into what this means. So as I mentioned earlier, these are university-based community groups for students interested in Google developer technologies. And by joining a DSC, students grow their knowledge in a peer-to-peer -peer learning environment and build solutions for local businesses, NGOs, um, their community, even their university campuses. And, and so we're really aiming to, to bridge the gap between theory and practice. And so a couple of things I want to emphasize here that is the peer-to-peer -peer learning piece. And, and, and this is important because um, we found that people feel very comfortable asking peers questions if they're stuck with something. Um, and, and it provides that comfortable environment to support each other. And also it's great to yeah, learn from your friends, from other people. So that provides a safe space. And also the building solutions piece. So um, this is, actually part of the the solution challenge we have a solution challenge every year um, and i know some of you might have been a part of this um, basically where students work on projects that solve local problems in their community and and they can um, submit these to a, a competition that we have every year and so why do we build solutions part of this is that practical piece like basically putting what you learn in the workshops into practice and actually building a project with a team um, you're gaining leadership skills, and but you're also kind of getting your hands dirty and, and, and really um, building something. And these are things that you could put on your resume. You can talk about these in interviews as well. Um, and so it's important to learn the theory, but also to put it into practice and learn the latest technology and become uh, more industry ready. And so this is a global program. There's uh, over 68 countries this is in, and also there's over 860 communities on campuses all over the world. And um, just wanted to show that it has been growing. So in, in 2018, uh, the program was in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, India, Indonesia. I uh, It started in India, and I brought the program to Indonesia when I was based in Singapore, and now it's it's global. And um, here's just some of the, the countries and regions it's in, um, basically all over the world from US to um, Middle East to Southeast Asia, uh, Africa, everywhere um, now. And coming soon, it'll be in Latin America. And so what, what do people do here? What are these clubs all about? So it's about connecting and learning and growing. Um, and so the way, in terms of connection, it's about meeting other students on your campus, uh, also uh, virtually um, meeting people online and getting together um, and, and meeting people who are interested in developer technologies and everyone is welcome. So um, this is really open to a diverse uh, mix of, of people from different backgrounds, beginner to more intermediate um, and where people can learn. They learn a very um, uh, new skills gained through uh, hands-on workshops and, and training and also those, the project building is a place to learn. And then growing, you know, applying what you've learned to grow, um, advance your skills and your network as well. Um, and then giving back to the community and helping others through their journey. 
Um, and here's a couple things that um, some of the, the kind of events around the world, I just wanted to showcase um, all over the world. Um, so this was a, a TensorFlow workshop that some students in Sub-Saharan Africa were a part of. Um, and then I wanted to talk about some of the projects as well that students have worked on all over the world. Um, so this was one project in Indonesia where students uh, got together and um, one student mentioned that her sister lived in a, uh, a city where there was a lot of flooding. So maybe they're not able to stop the floods, but is there something they could do to help? And so basically they, they identified a problem. They, um, and these are some screenshots from a video. We, we did make a video on this. Um, and so they said, you know, we should be able to prevent, um, we basically, um, the main issue they found was that people were not um, getting the notifications. Um, so they said, is there something that we can do here? Here, Can we help send notifications to people? Can we let people know where the safe zones are? Um, so they did some whiteboarding and eventually they gathered some user feedback and built the prototype, got more feedback. And basically they were able to build um, this app that sends uh, notifications. Um, when there's flooding and, and let pe lets people know where the safe zones are. So this was a, a project that students worked on. They're part of a developer student club. And so part of this process really is um, basically putting into, um, putting your skills and what you learn into, into practice. Um, and they actually launched the app. Uh, it's, it's not always necessary to fully finish and launch the full project, um, but, but that they wanted to take it a step further and actually let's put this out there. Um, and they continued to iterate and improve it. So that's one example. Um, and, and I did want to share just uh, one thing that happens once a year, it's, it's the solution challenge. And so, as I mentioned, this is a, um, an annual contest that invites students from DSDs to, to solve local problems using um, Google products or platforms. Uh, we just closed that off April 30th and we are currently reviewing all the submissions, um, great submissions from all over the world. And, um, and so we're gonna be announcing um, the winners, the top 10 teams uh, in early June. Um, so more to come there, but I did wanna share a quick video just so you have a sense of some of the things. And this happens once a year, as I mentioned. So let me play this real quick. Oops, let me start from <laughs> Great, so that is the um, solution challenge video. And, and that's, that's uh, just to give you a sense of some of the types of projects that students have worked on. Um, so that already, uh, students were able to, to fill that out. Um, and so actually wanted to also point out that um, through this website is where you can find a developer student club near you. Also, if you're interested in, in becoming a developer student club lead, um, you can fill out this form. So the de deadline was today, May 15th, but actually we're gonna be announcing in um, a, a, a couple hours that um, we've extended the deadline. So the deadline will be extended to June 1st. So you still have two full weeks to complete this. We encourage you to share this with your friends as well. And um, anyone you may know, you can share on social media or to um, any friends. And, and they can fill this out. Um, so I'm just gonna go here. Sorry for all my tabs. I know it looks like I <laughs> have many, many tabs. Um, so basically lead a DSC and I'll show you become a, a lead. And so this is the form. We do have it um, in a few different languages in case you speak any of these languages, you can click um, and fill out those forms in the different languages. Um, but if you do fill it out in English, uh, basically you can um, fill this out here. If 
if um, there is a developer student club already on your university campus, then just find it um, and uh, and basically click on it and, and you can fill out the rest. If, if it's not existing on your campus yet, then you can leave that blank. Um, but basically just fill this out. The kind of things that we're asking are, um, there's a few questions, like if you're part of any other um, uh, communities, um, if you're part of Google uh, developer groups, um, also, uh, if you've been part of a developer student club in some way, been maybe a core team member, you can add that here. Uh, one thing I do recommend is, is filling out as much of this form as, uh, as you can, like your Git profile, if you have LinkedIn, or if you've done Quick Labs as well, that's here. Um, I recommend just filling out as, as much of this as you can. And one last thing, uh, we highly encourage you to do a one minute video if you feel comfortable with that. Um, you can make it private and share it with us, um, but we'd love to see a video and you could answer any one of these three prompts. So one answer, you can say, you know, tell us more about what would be the purpose of your developer student club community, for example, um, or any, there's three uh, options. We recommend doing the video and filling out as much of this as you can. And, um, and that's it, it's just uh, one page basically. So yeah, if, if you know someone who's interested, you can share this with them. It, it's on, um, it's uh, this link here, uh, so they can fill this out. So that's um, all I was gonna share with you. Um, let me get, and what I always end presentations with is make sure that you have fun. Um, it's great to be part of communities. I know that right now uh, everything is, um, is online. Um, it's been a, a, it's a difficult time, and so it may be harder to stay connected, but I um, definitely encourage you to um, continue to engage with community online. Um, that's a great platform as well, um, where you can come together and learn and, and share ideas and, um, and be part of, you know, webinars like this and, and watch these. So um, but it's always good to have fun along the way as you're learning. Um, and thank you so much for listening. I, there are a few links here um, of like my social media, um, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So please do add me if you want to stay in touch. Uh, I would love to stay connected. So um, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Erica. We are glad to have you here and uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to have some uh, questions from the comments. Uh, let's see. And also, I have some questions. Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, these are some really good questions. Yeah, should I start answering some of these? Here, I can. Um, let me share my screen real quick. If, uh, are you able to see my screen? Um, yeah, so the best place to go to um, find out more information would be this place. I saw this question, a, a couple of these questions. So if you go here to the, the website, um, this is the best place to find out more. Um, so as I mentioned, this is where the form is, if you click lead, lead a DSC. Um, and then there's more about, actually there's more stories. I recommend watching some of these videos and other things as well. Let me go here. And so this is a little bit more about, um, I think someone, mentioned expectation. So what does a lead do? Uh, basically you start a club or if you're, if there was already a, an existing club um, and you want to take, take over for the next year, um, you would be basically taking over and um, working with this, uh, this community, you'd be hosting workshops um, to basically grow student knowledge on, on developer products. We, we provide content. Um, and so you can do hands-on workshops with them and then uh, the students will basically build projects. Um, in terms of benefits of being a lead, uh, it's one is professional growth, access to, um, we have a lot of trainings and technical knowledge. Um, and, and also it's a great experience to be 
of a community. Um, that's something great that you can put on your resume, just having those leadership skills. Uh, the network growth, basically you get connected to industry experts and Googlers for mentorship, but also a, to a global network of student leaders and also leaders within um, your region as well. Um, and then community learning, uh, dedicated support to educate and, and expand your community online and in person as well. Um, and here's some of the becoming a lead uh, criteria. So I know some of you mentioned this. Um, I'd say uh, the year isn't as important, uh, but ideally it's okay to be a senior actually, but as long as you have like one full year left, um, that doesn't matter as much. But um, that you're enrolled at a university, you can either be a master's student or undergraduate student, um, that you can commit to a full year. So it's a one year engagement, um, that you're passionate about creating impact in the community. Uh, also, um, we do look at like uh, technical expertise. You don't have to be an expert in Android or an expert in something, um, but it's good to have like a general technical understanding of computer programming or software engineering. And it, it helps to have experience with um, leading a team in some way, whether it was on a project or leading, running an event, having some kind of experience and that is helpful. Um, this isn't required, but it does help to have a connection to um, be part of other communities, developer communities out there. And, and eventually, once you are a lead, um, hosting events, whether it's online or in person, ideally once a month, but it can be every few months. Um, but just that you're engaging with your community and asking them what are they interested in learning and, and basically um, sharing more. Uh, with them based on what they're looking for. And we do have lots of content that uh, we provide you as well. Um, so those are, um, so someone had asked about like requirements so that th this is, these are some of the things also um, in terms of, yeah, more information, this would be the website. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else in here. Um, oh, this is the solution challenge. Um, so there's some really cool projects and, and stories um, in here as well. Um, and also I recommend if you're interested, there's some videos in here as well. If you want some guidance on identifying a problem, identifying a solution, designing the interface, designing the technology, um, here's some recent videos that we, we made this year as well. Um, cool, so those, I'll stop sharing that. Great, so can you please brief about the online hangout conversation? Oh yes, good question, after the Google shortlisting, yes. So the process is basically we're first evaluating, so you'll fill out the form, and then um, we've now extended the deadline to June 1st, so it's gonna take us some time to evaluate. We'll be evaluating into June. And, and so someone on the Google side will be re uh, reviewing, and the next step is um, if, if you get past that first stage, then we're gonna send you an email and, and set up a video call. And so you're gonna be connected um, with someone uh, with you, likely it'll be on the Google side, who's gonna ask you some questions uh, about any experience you've had with leading a community potentially or leading a project or you know what kind of technology you're interested in and just getting to know you and asking um, some questions to understand your um, technical expertise and also wanting to learn a bit more about you know why are you interested in becoming a developer student club lead and um, and those are some of the questions that they would be asking you so so they'll, they'll be asking questions and it takes about 30 minutes um, oh that's a good question do you run the code yes when you review the solution challenge we are running the code um, so we're starting the evaluations uh, this week, actually, we've been reviewing them. Um, so as I mentioned, we'll, we'll be announcing in early June and we are running the code and um, we're reading through all the answers and, it, and um, it's been really cool reading through just how, what kind of problems students were solving and, and how and how they got feedback on it as well. So it's, it's been a really cool process. Um, marketing, I thought, Share more. 
Yeah, I can share more about my experience as well. Um, oh, and the program is available to, um, yes, it, it is available in Sweden. Um, and so you could basically fill out um, the, uh, it's in this link. Um, we can just share it on the screen as well. Um, so they can fill out that form. Yeah, and I'm happy to also share more about my um, Google journey as well. Um, but we can see what other questions there are. How much more time do we have? Uh, yeah, we have we have about ten minutes. Other and uh, one question I have: um, Can you tell us a bit more about uh, what was the starting point in your professional life? Oh, yeah, like a, a really important point in my professional life. Yeah, what was the starting point and important point in your professional life? Like you're about um, uh, 13 years that you're working in Google. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to share more about that journey. So I, I'd say some of the things that I learned along the way are uh, that it's really important to be proactive and, and get a better sense of what you're interested in. So for me, I... I was initially in sales, so I was, um, for about four years, I was doing, um, uh, I was on the sales team and, and just working with um, uh, supporting businesses with their advertising strategies. And I wasn't sure if that's something that I wanted to be doing long term, but uh, it was it was a good experience. And so I started to do 20% projects. And so that's uh, basically spending you know, 20% of your time working on different projects. So, and they have different opportunities like that. And I was pretty proactive. And so one was, um, I reached out to the google.org team and asked, is there some a project I could work on? And I was proactive. And eventually I was able to work on a project 20% of my time to support that team. And so I wanted to learn a bit more about that team, what they were doing and see, is this something that I want to do more of? And, and so that was the beginning of looking learning more about project management and okay maybe not having um uh clients that i'm working with and on the phones with it's it let's see maybe i want to start working on projects and so i started to um so i continued to do 20 percent projects when i moved to london i did a 20 percent project working with campus london which is google's tech hub and uh, supporting startups. And so I ran the, um, I, I co-led the mentoring program where we connect Googlers with, um, uh, Googlers with people who, um, uh, with startups, uh, with startup founders, and we provided them support. And so that was cool. I thought what I learned from that is I'm interested, um, oh, that activated my phone. Um, I'm interested in, I like supporting startups. I like um, managing kind of mentoring programs. So that was where I got interested in that. And then eventually I continued to look at other opportunities and I found a um, three month rotation program in Singapore and it was managing a program called Women on the Web and it was helping women learn how to start businesses online using uh, like free tools and resources and, and Google technology to start their businesses online. And so I got to go to Singapore for three months and that's where I realized, wow, I really like uh, training, education, I like um, mentoring, and I like program or project management. And so the way that I learned how, that I liked that was through being proactive, asking around, trying to make new friends in different teams, but also proactively looking for 20% projects, rotation programs, and, and testing things out to see what I like. Um, and so I, I saw the question, what was my first job? It was um, basically customer service, essentially, customer support. So my very first job was um, I was approving the ads that you see on Google, like the little text ads. I had to approve them. Now things are there's more automation now. I also answered the phones. Anybody could call asking about um, their advertising campaign, so I answered those questions. So it was customer support, and it was a, an entry-level job. And, and it was a great experience, and I, I really enjoyed um, 
you know, just talking to people, anyone could call and ask any question about the internet or about their campaign. I answered lots of questions. And so I had to be kind of quick on my feet and be able to answer those questions. So that was my first role. And, and eventually the way that I got into um, the developer relations team, which is part of engineering was through those 20% projects through that rotation program. And a key thing was understanding um, what are my main skills or what am I the best at and also what am I most passionate about? And so one thing I realized I enjoyed was program management and, and also it was stories, hearing more um, stories and, and sharing stories of how people have been impacted by technology. Um, and so I was really interested in the storytelling piece um, and also really interested in, um, in, in education. And so kind of putting all those things together, what I'm bad at, best at, well, what I'm also interested in, I was able to, um, I worked harder and loved what I was doing and that kind of came through and, and the projects I was proactive about taking on and finding new opportunities for myself. Um, so that's that's a bit more about my journey. I, I saw someone was asking about that too. Yeah, that was great. Um, one other question, what was your great and huge achievement being in Google? I'd say it's um, one thing I'm really happy about is the uh, working on the developer student clubs program. And I the program existed in India and I saw an opportunity in Indonesia and I thought, why don't we have a program for students in Indonesia, which is the, re the country I was personally focused on for work. And I said, why don't we bring it here? Let's test this out. So we, we onboarded 20 students we ran a pilot and things worked out. So then we added another 40 students. Um, and so what I love is that I've been able to pilot things. It's all about you know running a pilot, testing it, see if it, it works or um, setting goals, setting a, a, a timeline, a project plan and, and gathering feedback, making improvements and then seeing you know, what do we do next? Do we grow this or, or not? So. Um, Going through that was amazing because it things worked out, and then I um, I wanted to uh, there was some interest in other countries as well, so I we slowly started expanding, and then I um, uh, was able to take this on globally, and and that's when I was able to move to New York. Um, so so it was really uh, yeah, it was I think that was the thing that I'm I'm really happiest about was finding an opportunity and. Um, piloting and then also uh, being able to grow it globally and and be able to um, just hear more about the stories all over the world of uh, students building really cool projects helping their local communities um, so that's something that's probably what I'm happiest about is is the developer student club program uh, growing globally and uh, can a member of a DSC become a, a developer at Google Google um, opportunities for DSC members at Google so there's always the the opportunity for um, anyone, whether it's a member or a someone who is on the core team, a speaker, or also a developer student club lead, um, for them to apply um, for different opportunities. And I know I know of a, a couple um, developer student club leads who eventually did apply for jobs in, at Google and 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 got those jobs. Um, and a couple who are now community managers as well on the Google side who used to be part of um, uh, other related programs. So um, yeah, there's definitely um, the opportunity. Feel free to apply. I know things um, that they're looking for are you know technical expertise that you've shown leadership, um, also that you're good at problem solving and they're interested in seeing how you solve a problem, what questions do you ask, and 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 how do you um, how you answer the questions is really important as well. Um, yes, capacity and skills considered by Google. Um, yeah. So yeah, as I was mentioning, um, so I think it's a lot of it is is uh, technical expertise. It doesn't have to be in like one specific area. It, it could be. Um, it could be a broad range or it could be really deep into one area, but I think just showing um, that, that technical expertise and um, 
having any experiences about um, teamwork as well can really help because actually at Google, a lot of what we do is working in teams. Um, there's uh, definitely everything I do is basically in, in teams. Um, so being able to show like, here's a project I worked on um, or here's how I worked with this team to build this project. Um, so that that's also helpful. As I mentioned, um, the, the problem solving, how you solve a problem and the questions that you ask to solve that problem uh, are important. And, and yeah, so I think anything, um, if you're part of a community that I think that does help to show if you're, uh, have experience mentoring other people or speaking at events or being part of a community, um, projects that you've worked on, I think all of these things help. Any other uh, if you have any comments uh, for um, students in our country, in Afghanistan, especially in Balkh University students, uh, so feel free to share your comments or any um, message for them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, thank you. It's thank you for inviting me. It's been, it's been yeah, yeah, thank you for inviting me. And um, just want to say uh, a key message is really that it's, it's so awesome to be part of a community, as I mentioned, whether it's online or in person. I think having people that are passionate about technology or passionate about something, um, friends that you can, you know, bounce ideas off of, or you can work on a project together or solve a problem together, I, I think it really helps to have you know, this peer-to-peer -peer environment. And also when you learn something, sharing it with other people, mentoring people, um, supporting them when they have questions is really helpful. Because um, for me, when I was learning uh, Java, um, I, I did an online course. It was the Udacity Android for Beginners. I got really frustrated. I um, Actually, that course makes it very uh, a lot easier to learn. But a couple of times I, I made some mistakes and. I messaged a friend through WhatsApp and, and asked them a couple of questions. Um, and I was able to get some support and also was able to get some support online. So for me, it helped having, I, it was kind of a friend tour, I would say, instead of it was a friend and mentor combined. Um, and so they helped me a couple of times when I felt a bit lost um, and I was able to finish the course. And so I was able to build a very simple app, but it felt good. So I think when you have a network of people that you can, help each other out as you get started learning a new technology or maybe just becoming more uh, more of an expert in a technology you're already good at. I, I think it just helps to have a network. So that's my main message is just to really support each other and and continue to learn and, and be there as, as part of a community. It, it really helps because that, that passion is contagious and, and you can really help each other out. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Erika. Thank you for making these things possible for students, especially for our students and uh, our country. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. It was so great to be here. Thanks a lot. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs>
ما از همه شما تشکر میکنم یک سوال که همیشه محصلین از ما پرسان میکنن پیش از اینکه ما برم در باره تا که امروز صحبت بکنم برای کسایی که مرا نمیشناسن بگم که ما مسئول برنامه جدیجی کابل هستم و همچنان استاد پنتون هستم ما رئیس پنزه کمیتر ساینس پنتون آریا هستم یک سوال که معمولا شاگردا از ما پرسان میکنن و در تصمیم گیری برش مشکل برمیخورن ای است که ما چیکار بکنیم که یک دولپر شویم چطور یک سافتویر انجینیر شویم به اون خاطر ما خواستم یک سلاید آماده بکنم من سلاید خود شیر میکنم باز دو یک اپاره شروع میکنیم ما یک لحظه ایم سکرین خود اشکر بکنم براتان سکرین ما انشال آمده سوال که در اول در ذهن ما بود و در ذهن هر شاگرد کمپیوتر ساینس است ای است که دو یو هاف وات ایت تیکس تو بی ا سافت ویر دیولپر آیا می توانم یک دیولپر شوم سوال که پیشتر اکثر دوستای ما از خانم رکام کردن که چی میشه که آدم در گوگل دیولپر شه و چی نیاز است که آدم به مو سطح برسه حالا دیولپر شدن در گوگل کار ساده نیست هدف ما از سلاید یا تا که امروز امی خواد بود که یک شاگرد کمپیوتر ساینس چطور میتونه که برسه به امو حد که در یک شرکت در دولت یا در هر جای منعیس یک سافتیر دیولپر استخدام شده حالا سافتیر دیولپر هم لیول های مختلف داره ایج هدف ما از امو جینیر سافتیر دیولپر است یک کسی که از این امی را پول پیدا بکنه هدف مایی است که ما شما چی کار بکنیم که از محصل بودن در کمپیوتر ساینس تبدیل شویم به کسی که از طریق سافت ویر پول پیدا میکنه باشه و از طریق کار کردن در یک اداره یا از طریق ای که خودش یک چیز میسازه یا فریلانس میکنه سوال اول امی است که آیا شما امی اونایی را دارین امی رشته برای شما ساخته شده یا نشده ما برای محصلین دم اولین روز که پنتون می آین ثبت نام می کنن من می بینم شان اولین چیزی که برای شان می گم امی است که رفیقایی که یا دوستایی که انگلیسی ها دارن خوب که ندارن این امی امروز برین یک کورس انگلیسی بگیرین کامپیوتر ساینس و پروگرامنگ و ساختیر دیولپمنت بدون انگلیسی ناممکن است هر قدر منابع خوبه که در دنیا است در حداقل امی رشته او کلش به انگلیسی است اگر شما منتظر ازی باشیم که یک کس می آیا این مواد ترجمه میکنه به پشتو یا به فارسی چندین سال از او تیر میشه و دیگه او تکنولوژی حتما کنه شده از او خاطر اولین چیز که نیاز است است که شما باید انگلیسی یاد داشته باشید اگر شما انگلیسی یاد دارین یک, یک قدم نزدیک تر است این از کسی که انگلیسی یاد نداره Uh, چیز دیگه ای که uh, نیاز است بیسک کمپیوتر نالج دانش ابتدایی کمپیوتر ای که شما uh, با استفاده از ایمیل را استفاده از اینترنت و uh, ای, ای مسائل را بلد باشین uh, چیز دیگه ای که نیاز است ای است که شما uh, یک کسب باشین که لاجیکلی فکر بکنین Uh, من کلمه های انگلیسی را که فارسی مکس میکنم به خاطر مشکل کامپیوتر ساینس همی است که برای هر چیز مادل فارسی شانه داره هدف از لاجیکل تنکنگ ای است که uh, یک تعداد مردم ها خوب هستند به 
فکر تحلیلی کردن یا ریاضیات تو فیزیک اینی مسائل زود یاد میگیرن یک تعداد کسا دیر یاد میگیرن اگر شما یک کس هستین که ریاضی و فیزیک مسائل زود یاد میگیرن کامپیوتر ساینس هم زود یاد میگیرن این به این نیست که کسی که شاگرد که در مکتب ریاضی یا فیزیک یاد نگرفته حالا کامپیوتر ساینس یاد نمیگیره هدفی است که کسایی که در ریاضی و فیزیک خوب بودن حالا در کامپیوتر ساینس و در پروگرامینگ هم خوبتر یا راحتتر میباشن پوینت دیگه است که اگر شما یک کس هستین که مفکوره حل مشکل دارین پرابلم سولوینگ منتالیتی دارین کسایی که در گیم بازی میکنن و در گیم خوب هستن گیم هم یک پرابلم است شما سولوش میکنین حلش میکنین یا سابقا یک چیزه که بود جنجال میگفتنش یا روبیکس کیو و شما اکثر دیدین اگر شما میتونین روبیکس کیو بل کنین اینی مسئل اینیا کلش نشان میده که شما توانایی از این دارین که سافتیار دولپر شوید ما بازم تکرار بکنم که کسایی که چهار مورد در که مطالب گفتم ندارن به این معنی نیست که اینا نمیتونن سافتیار دولپر شوند عدفی است که اینمی مسائل شما را رایتان از ساده تر می سازه هموار تر می سازه از کل از این چهار مورد کده چیز بسیار بسیار مهم دیترمینیشن تصمیم و اراده شما است اگر تصمیم و اراده از این داشته باشین که من دولپر می شوم شما حتما دولپر می شین یک سوال دیگه ای که برای هم اگه پیش می آید وقت شروع میکنن یا همی از همون روز که شما پروگرامنگ شروع میکنین در زین کل اگه همی است که خود چی وقت با دولپر می شون این سفر بر یک تعداد بسیار زود نتیجه می ته اگر شما چهار مورد را که در این سلاید قبلی ما گفتم اگر انگلیسی خوب میفهمین، اگر دانش ابتدایی کمپیوتر بلد هستین، اگر ریاضی و فیزیک کتش راحت هستین و اگر در حل مشکلات خوب هستین، بسیار سریع میتونین که پروگرامنگ یاد بگیرین و مشناسون کسایی را که در ظرف شش ماه تانستن یک زبان برنامه نویسی را یاد بگیرن و پروژه بسپازن. نظر به ای که گفتم کدا این موارد کدام بایش دارین چقدر تصمیم اراده تان قوی است شش ماه یک سال نهایتا دو سال وقت میگیرد تا ای که شما یک سافتگر دولپر شوید یک سوال بسیار خوب دگه ای است که where to start from پروگرامین خوب چیز است در دنیا ماشه بلند پروگرامر ها دارن دنیا را میتونن این نمیاد تغییر بتن شما تاکای مختلف شنیدین از مردم های خوب و تصمیم گرفتین که پروگرامر شوین از کجا شروع کنیم نقطه آغاز کجا است نقطه آغاز به نظر من ای است که یکی شما سافتویر دولپمنت انتخاب کردین باز تصمیم بگیرین که کدام بخش از سافتویر دولپمنت میخوانین هدف ما از پکلین امی است که یک مسیر مشخص انتخاب بکنین شما میتونین که ویب دیولپر شوین شما میتونین که موبایل دیولپمنت بخوانین میتونین دسکتاپ اپلیکیشن دیولپمنت بخوانین در موبایل دیولپمنت هم شما چندین گزینه دارین میتونین که اندروید بخوانین میتونین آی ویس دیولپمنت بخوانین و آل پلاتفورما یا فریمورک های جدید آمده مثل فلاتر که برای شما توانایی زیر میته که همزمان هم بر اندروید و هم بر آی او اس دیولپمنت بکنید موضوع بحث ما امروز این است که کدام از یا خوب است و شما کدامش را تخیب بکنید و یک بحث جدا است اما مهم امی است که اتو نکنید که یک دو روز برین ویب بخوانید باز یک دو روز دیگه برین سی شارپ بخوانید اپلیکیشن های دستاب دیولپ کنین باز یک تاک در مورد فلاتر بشنوین فلاتر خوشتان به کلا زوربانین برین فلاتر این کار را نکنین و این کار است که اکثرا شاگرده کامپیوتر ساینس میکنن بعد یک بلد شدن یا مثلا خواندن چیزا شاید خوب باشه بر معلومات اضافی تان شاید خوب باشه اما بر شروع این شما را سردرگم میکنه که هر طرف کم کم دست بندازین 
از ام اول به مشوره استادایتان در پانتون یا به مشوره کسایی که در اندستری هستن ازشان نظر بگیرین که کدام رشته خوب است خودتان هم ببینین که کدامش خوشتان می تاثیر کدامش بیشتر است و شما را کدام زودتر به هدف میرسانه الیکشن انتخاب بکنین کل هر رشته سافر دیولپمنت که انتخاب بکنین فرصت های خدا داره فرض کنیم که شما تصمیم گرفتین که اندروید دیولپر شوید بر اندروید دیولپر شدن کار بعدی ای است که برتان یک رود رود مپ بسازین یک نقشه را بسازین که از کجا شروع بکنم در چقدر وقت کجا برسم و چقدر وقت بعد ما بالاخره به هدف میرسم اونم قصه یک تایم لاین برتان بسازین برتان هدف تعیین بکنه و خاطر از این که این کار ساده تر شده باشه ساختن رود مپ یا تعیین کردن از اینکه از اول ما چی را بخونم باز چی را بخونم باز چی را بخونم ای بر یک شاگرد کامپیوتر ساینس که معلوماتش محدود است بر از اون مشکل است به همی خاطر ما یک کم سرچ کردم اینترنت باز یک تعداد لنک ها را پیدا کردم در نوت های سلاید است ما گشا در کامنت او را من دادم و توصیح میکنم که نظر به ای که به کدام بخش علاقه دارین این لنک ها همیشه فکر کنم در کامنت ها رفت در لنک هایی که ببرتان روان کردم برای هر بخش که شما علاقه دارین یک نقشه را را رسم کردن حالا شاید شما بخواین که اگان موردش تغییر بتین اما ادقل بر شما مفکوری از این میته که از کجا شروع کنین و اهداف که براتان تین میکنین چی چی باشه کار دیگه که باید بکنین ایست که به یک کمیونیتی جاین شوین جای خوشبختی است که در کابل نام خدا کمیونیتی ها بیشتر فعال است کمیتی جی دی جی کابل است ما گروپ فیسبوک هم داریم و اعضای جی دی جی کابل در کل کابل فعال هستند و بچه های بسیار خوب هستند برای رفتمشان کامنت بتین نظر بخواین در فیسبوک برشان مسئله بکنین ایمیل بکنین سوال اگر داشته باشین در حد دانش و توانایی خود که تان کمک میکنه بر ما کنه وقت سوال بکنین فرصت کنه بر وقت برتان جواب میتون ضرور نیست که شما اینمی رای را که پیش روی دارین این را تنایی برین برای خود رفیق پیدا بکنین رفیق که با شما اهداف یکسان داره به همین خاطر به کمیونیتی ها جاین بکنین و کل قصه این تا دی سی داریم و یک بچه ها خدا اپلای کردن به احتمال زیاد تا دو سی مای دگر ما شما در پانزه تا دی سی در افغانستان داشته باشیم اما تا جی دی جی کابل بلخ و قندار فعال است تا چند وقت دیگه به خیر جی دی جی را تان فعال میشه به هک از اینی کمیتی ها بپیوندین دوست و رفیق دولپر پیدا کنین که اگر کدام جای بر مشکل بر میخورین باز یک کس باشه که دستانه بگیره که تانم کاری بکنه و همونطور که پیشتر گفتم ضروری سفر دولپر شدن سفر چند روزه نیست بیخی که دولپر هم شوید باز هم نیاز به ای دارین که کت... کسایی که هم کس با هم عرفیتان هست کت... از اونا یک جای باشین و از گپای نو پیک دیگه خدا با خبر بسازین موش تصمیم ما شد که بخیر تا یک سال من اندروید دولپمنت فرض مثال یاد بگیرم اینا حالا دیگه چی بکنیم از کجا شروع درس از کجا بخونیم مواد از کجا بکنیم آنلاین کورسز به نظر من بهترین راه است به وجود که پانتونا شکر است و اکثر تان محصولین کمپیوتر ساینس پانتونا هستین پانتون یگان ذره محدودیت داره محدودیت پنتون ای است که کریکولم هر پنتون در قالب 
امو ریکوارمنت های وزارت تحصیلات عالی ساخته شده و مجبور هستن که در اونجا مزامین مختلف اضافه بکنن شاید در دا 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 اندروید دیولپمنت یکی دو سه مزمون شاید اصلا نباشه اندروید دیولپمنت ما چند کریکولم را که دیدیم از پانتون های مختلف از اقل پانتون های دولتی اندروید دیولپمنت نیست شما برای ازی که بخواین اندروید دیولپر شوید نمیتونین که به درس های پانتون ارتکا بکنید بهترین را ای است که شما کورس های آنلاین رو بخونید ما سال 2017 یک کس در فیسبوک لینک یودستی را پوست کرده بود سایت یودستی را و سایت یودستی را در اون لینک گفته بود که چطور اندروید دیولپر میشین رو رواز کردم که کورس آنلاین از گوگل است و اندروید دیولپمنت یاد میتن با استفاده از جاوا ما اندروید دیولپمنت از اموجا شروع کردم در بین درس هایی که به ویدیو ها میداد اما استادش درباره از این گفت که شما امی گپ را که مال بردارم گفت امی گپ او برم او در اون ویدیو میگه که به کمیونیتی ها جاین شوید و در کل جای ها کمیونیتی های جی دی جی هست بعد از ویدیو ما انترنت چک کردم که واقعا جی دی جی در پاکستان هست در اندوستان هست در اکثر کشور ها در افغانستان نیست باز سرچ کرده و گشته پیدا کردم که از چطور اپلای میشه به جی دی جی کابل اپلای کردم و باز امو بالاخره باعث شد که در کابل جی دی جی راندازی شده آل نام خدا جی دی جی کابل تبدیل شده به جی دی جی کل افغانستان سه تا جی دی جی دیگه ساخته شد دی سی آمد و شروع کمیونیتی های گوگل در افغانستان شد هدف می است که رای بسیار خوب یاد گرفتن امروز کورس های آنلاین است ما اما تو یک سه تا من کورس های آنلاین خوبه سایت هایی که کورس های آنلاین دارن را و اکثر هم فیلی هم است براتان اینجا نوشته میکنم در کامنت ها یودستی.com ما اگر بخوایم کدام موضوع نو یاد بگیرم اولین جایی که میرم یودستی است ویدیوی بسیار با کیفیت داره یودیمی هم است اما تو کورسرا هم است تمام سایت ها حتما بلد هستین اگر نیستین یک بار ببینین و امو زبان برنامه نویسی مشخص را که میخواین یاد بگیرین حتما در اوجه برش کورس است و نظر من میست که آنلاین درس بخونید در کورس های آنلاینی که میخوانید در اوجا مطمئن نمی توصیح را براتان میکنه و توصیح معمول بر یاد گرفتن پروگرامنگ امی است که باید پروژه بسازید زیاد پشت از این نگردین که من از هر چیزی که در باره مثلا میخوانید جاوا یاد بگیرین ضرور نیست که شما هر گپ که در جاوا هست او را بلد شوید کتاب های جاوا را دیدین ریفرنس بوکایش چند ست صفحه است این ضرور نیست که چند ست صفحه را تمامش از سر و دیرش یاد بگیرین یک کمکی که جاوا یاد گرفتین یک پروژه یک بسازین و تمام این امی کورس های آنلاین را که من براتان ریفرنس دادم تمام از این کورس ها اما متود تدریسشان پروژیکت بیست است کمکی که یاد گرفتین تیزه که یک پروژه بسازین و پروژه تان را شریک بسازین با دوست و رفیقایتان با کمیونیتیتان شرم نکنین از کارتان اگر کارتان عیب داره یا در هر سطح که هست یک پروژه که خود ساختین هر چیزی که بوده اونم رو شریک بسازین با دوستایتان با رفیقایتان با فامیلتان تشویقتان میکنن شاید در بین یکی دو سه نفر باشه که گپ ناخ بگه یا گفته ما شما افغانا گپ مفت بزنه او جایی را نمیگیره و او باید باعث از این نشه که شما دل سرد شوید در مقابل ما مطمئن هستم که ما اصلا دیدیم در این فیسبوک هر محصل دوست یا رفیق پروگرامه را ما که دستاور خود پست میکنن ده ها نفر کامنت های خوب میکنن تشویق میکنن و ما مطمئن هستم که اگر شما پروژه تان شریک بسازیم کلاگی تشویق تان میکنن و نظریات خوب برتان بیده نظر ما امیست که اگر کار خورد یا بزرگ کردین هر چیزی که بوده او را شریک بسازین فیدبک بگیرین نظر بگیرین 
و نکته آخر کمک بخواین اگر جای بند ماندین از کسایی که میفهمین که شما را کمک کده میتونه ازشان کمک بخواین ایج کسی اگر در دورو برتان نیست فرمای آنلاین است استک اوور فلو است آلو میگن که پروگرامنگ نوات فیصدش استک اوور فلو است در فیصد دیگه شام کابی پیست دیگه استک اوور فلو است اون سوالتان اوجا نوشته بکنین حتما یکس پیدا میشه برتان جواب میته متوقف نشین موضوع دیگه که ما بخوایم در موردش کوتا صحبت بکنم و یک چیز که اکثر شاگردا دهش به مشکل بر میخورن این که چطور یک آیدیا پیدا بکنن چطور یک مفکوره برای پروژه خود پیدا بکنن جواب ما این که look for inspiration around you ما و شما بدبختانه در کشور زندگی میکنیم که پر از مشکلات است ما مشکل امنیتی داریم مشکل اقتصادی داریم مردم های ما فقیر هستند و ده ها تا مشکل دیگه هم هست و این مشکلات کلش به نظر ما ایمان ها را میته که ما شما این قدر فرصت داریم برای کار کردن برای تغییر آوردن ما شما وقت این دنیای از مشکلات در دورو بر خود میبینیم باید طرز فکر ما ای باشه که من چی کده میتونم با دانش که من دارم با موپرو سافتیر دولپمنت چی مشکلات میتونم که من حل بکنم و دلیل از ای که از طریق برنامه دی سی سولوشن چلنج هم راندازی شده امی است که شاگرد های پنتون ببینن که در دورو برشان در محیطشان چی مشکلات وجود داره و اونو مشکلات با استفاده از یک برنامه با استفاده از یک سافتیر او را حلش بکنن اگر مفکوریتون بسیار خوب بود گوگل او را امایت میکنه شما را امریکا میخواید و کلان آدم میشین دیگه جواب همی که اگر کدام وقت بر پیدا کردن مفکوره و مشکل برخوردین در حلش امیست که ببینین که اصلا در خانه تون چی مشکل است کدام اپلیکیشن کار برتان آسان میکنه و اکثر کسایی که اپلیکیشن میسازن در افغانستان هم در دیگه جای مموت است مشکلات هم میبینن در دورو بر خود و برش اگر رای حل کوشش میکنن که پیدا بکنن آخرین موضوع How to get a job as a software developer چطور وظیفه پیدا بکنیم یاد گرفتیم اندور دولپمنت حالا میتونیم که سافتیار بسازیم استف بعدی پیدا کردن وظیفه است برای پیدا کردن وظیفه گذینه های مختلف دارین میتونین که برای وظایف دولتی اپلای بکنین حالا دولت بخش های مختلف را زیر اثر خود آورده اون پروژه دولتی را خود وزارت مخابرات یا کتگذاره مستقل از اگر به نام NSIA اداره سایه میخواهی که تمام سیستم را که بر ادارات ضرورت است او را خودشان بسازه که ای هم یک فرصت است برای کسایی که میخواین بر وظایف دولتی اپلای کنند و بر شما یک فرصت است که دولت کار بکنند من ایت سافتر دولت شرکت های سافتیر سازی هم هست در کابل در مزار در ایرات میتونید که به شرکت ها اپلای بکنین و یک فرصت دیگه که یا یک کار دیگه که شما میتونین کده ایست که میتونین فریلانس کار بکنین اقتداد زیاد مردم مخصوصا در پاکستان، این، بنگلدیش و در افغانستان هم تازه اقتداد مردم رو شروع کردن کارهای فریلانسنگ میکنن در مورد فریلانسنگ ما امی دیروز یک ویدیو لایو هم دیدم یک از دوستای ما دیم بارا سیمینار میداد ویبینار میداد یک آپشن دیگه است که شما فریلانس کار کنین کسی که فریلانس هم نمیفهمن عدفی است که آنلاین وظیفه میگیرین پروژه میگیرین کار میکنین پروژه رو پس تسلیم میکنین پول تان هم میگیرین سایت های مختلف هست مثل فایور اپورکس 
که میتونین که در اوجه شما پروژه فریلانس را پیدا کنین از کارهای بسیار خورد خورد شروع بکنین حتی من بشناسم کسایی را که برای خود اوجه پروفایل ساختن پین دلار یک دانه لوگو را دیزاین کرده لوگو خوبش بوده نفر خوش آمده باز برش آفر داده که خیلی کلی نوی برند ما دیزاین کن دو ست دالر گرفته تمام برندش را دیزاین کرده باز او امی آدم را ریکامند کرده بر دگر حاله به اندازه یا شاید بیشتر از یک شرکت گرافیک دیزاین که در دا داخل کار میکنه اونا با یک نفر آید میکنه از طریق فیرلنسین یک گزینه خوب است زمان میبره نیاز به اوصله داره اما یک دفعه که وارد کار شدین دیگه هیچ باز نیاز نیست که برای کسی دیگه کار کنین خودتان میتونین که به اختیار خود به وقت خود کار بکنین و گزینه آخر ای است که ضرور نیست برای کسی دیگه کار کنین خودتان یک سارتاپ را بندازین سارتاپ های خوب در هر طرف کشور را انداخته شده در افغانستان هم در وقتا هم سارتاپ های خوب را من میبینم در طرف شما میتونین که یک سارتاپ را بندازین و برنامه های بسیار مختلف است به خاطر حمایت از سارتاپ ها گوگل هم یک برنامه داره برای سارتاپ ها نام گوگل لانچ بود ما در صده دزی هستیم که اونو برنامه گوگل هم بخیر در افغانستان بریم که سارتاپ های سافتویر سازی در افغانستان شامل از او برنامه شود در فکر از او برنامه هستیم در اون مورد باز انشالله اگر برنامه قرار شد در افغانستان بیا ما یکان برنامه دیگه میگیرم مفصل ما شما صحبت میکنیم ناوقت شب است تشکر از کلتان در مورد گپایی که ما گفتم و در مورد برنامه جی دی جی کابل و برنامه گوگل در افغانستان اگر دوستا سوال دارن ما در خدمت شد تشکر از کلتان آسنا دستی آقای کنمم برای فکر کنم مشنویم صدایت هم مشنویم فکر کنم ما گفتیم حالا شد اگر سوال باشه بده خدمت تشکر از خانم زوره به ما میتونین از طریق فیسبوک و تماس شوین اکثرا در اوجه فعال هستم در غیر از او میتونین که در پیج جی دی جی کابل هم پیام بانین ما از چند وقت باید یک بار پیام بارم میخونم موفق باشین تشکر از خانم آسناتم که بر ما خوبت شد انشالله در برنامه دیگه بازم در خدمت چند خود بیدیم تشکر بسیار زیاد از شما یه وقت تا نده یه وقت شب بر ما دختیار ما قرار دادین و واقعا خوشحال هستم امیدوار است می برنامه پر دستوار بوده باشه بر تمام شاگرده که موار شنیدن موفق باشین وقتان بخیر تشکر از شما بخیر